P upon you all. Object-oriented programming in the world of programming for everyone, regardless of which programming language you are studying it at the moment or you will study it in the future. Object-oriented programming is a common concept used to orient the languages or the programming language around object. What is object? In fact, object is everything around us which you can describe it and you give it some behavior. That's what we call it object. So let's get into our presentation by first of all my name is Ahmed Sami I'm a software engineer I'm so proud to provide you with that information I hope it will be valuable and it will add something good to you we're starting by what is object object oriented programming in fact it's a uh, programming paradigm that revolves and evolves around concept of object which means that everything in object oriented programming is around classes and object in object oriented programming we have a few concepts which you are using it in regardless of what programming language you will learn or you will use the first concept is what is class and what is the relationship between class and object and that's get us what is encapsulation and inheritance polymorphism and abstraction they are the most important concepts of object-oriented programming in common with all the programming language which you will learn in the future or you will convert or you will return to some of them. We're starting by what is class and what is object and what is the relationship between them. Class simply is made for design, is a template, empty template. For example, you have some piece of documents regardless of what registration form you have and it's empty which means that this is a contract for you you will write it with your own details when you write this template with your own details now you are creating object in instance of that template related only to you so classes are templates empty template object are an instance of that template which you use on a daily basis or on a runtime environment to run your application to hold the data which you need to transport between the application so there is a class and from this class or from the template we can generate object one object two and object three as well that will take us so encapsulation what is encapsulation what do you mean to encapsulate something inside something in fact encapsulation in simple word is just hiring and protecting the data from external uh, interference so that's all. it's a protection mechanism but how can you do this uh, encapsulation simply by providing getters and setters for the variables or for the attributes you provide simply we have this uh, 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 visualization we have a class this class contains two variables username and user email by giving this keywords private you prevent these variables to be visible outside the class itself and it's only visible inside the class which means and that will give us the ability to do set the variable and get the variable and the same with user email set the variable and the get the variable now you already encapsulate your class and no one will be able to access these variables directly by this way you can even on setters put some specific validation depends on the variables you want to deal with after you encapsulate the object we can use it into inheritance the third uh, concept of object-oriented programming. Simple inheritance is that when a child the class can inherit properties and behavior from the parent the class if this uh, having this keyword private. So simply we have something like this. We have a parent the class. This parent the class contains some methods, functions, publicly accessible. And we have a child the class will extend this parent class that way child one and child two and both of them will have a copy of everything we have on the parent class that will help us with code reusability and the clean code as well you don't need to duplicate your code every time by using inheritance that will take us into polymorphism polymorphism is that when one uh, when uh, a few objects of a different classes treated as object of a common super class. In that case, we need also to use uh, inheritance because parent class and the subclass or the child class will inherit from this parent class that way, child one and child two. But what is the difference? 
Uh, the difference is that you can use the parent class as a variable name. As you can see, parent uh, child one equal new child one new. That how we can instantiate a class from uh, instantiate object from a class using new keyword. And parent city equal new child two. It is the same as well. Uh, this pattern is really so famous in a dependency injection design pattern. When you have a parent class, is used to be injected, but depends later on on the implementation. You can inject the child class using the parent class itself, because anyway, the compiler or the interpreter will look here, will find that okay, this is a child one and this is a parent. What is the relationship between them? Ah, okay, child extends from parent, and that that means that okay, I will give the parent the same value as a child on actual implementation on runtime. That's what we call it polymorphism. One common class, it's a parent, and two different child classes are treated equally similarly to be a parent, but on runtime, every one of them will take the real and actual value like after the equal value. From polymorphism, we are going into abstraction. How can we abstract something? especially in programming language. So simple by providing a contractual function. In the parent class, it's a function with no implementation at all. It's totally empty, nothing there. And you let the child class implement it depends on the need of how can you use this child class in the future. So here's a parent class and the parent child class already extending from the parent class and also extending the next method. Do action. As you can see, there is no implementation at all. It's just name and nothing. So that's here in the parent class. It's called abstract method. And this abstract method, for example, or abstract function, a child class one will implement it, will take it from the parent class, then it will add its own implementation related to this child class one. The same was also child class two. So every one of them will implement the same exact uh, method, but this method was no body, was no implementation, but later on every different class will implement what is needed to be implemented. That's what we call it abstraction. Provide abstract method and then later the class will decide how implementing this method. That was a high overview of object-oriented programming regardless of what programming language you are using or you will learn in the future. For more details and deep details, you check your own programming language because each programming language will provide sometimes different way of instantiating a class uh, object from a class and sometimes different way even of writing class or writing some variable inside this class or function or methods or whatever house you're calling it. So check your programming language. I hope this video was useful for you. If it is, I'm so happy and glad for that. If you have any comments, if you have any question, please leave it in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer and I wish you a happy coding. Thank you so much for your time.